As human beings, I think we're animals because there's something about violent satisfaction. Last week, remember I talked about a spider that I killed last Monday? It was up in the corner. So I did an aerosol air attack, air freshener. I feel a little better about the air freshener demise, like it was more sanitary or something for some reason. Today, I'm not lying. I don't know if it's because of Halloween or what. There was another spider in the morning. And he was like on the ground. So I did like a ground attack. And I got some dish, uh, dish liquid. And I just kind of on it. And I just wiped it up. I don't know. <laughs> wipe and flush. I wipe and flush. But I don't know. I don't feel good about killing, but I, we, that's just something in us that you see a spider, you like what? You're going to let it out? You're going like, to you're gonna, you're gonna exterminate it. So I don't know. Same thing when you see a movie. Number one at the box office this week was what? Equalizer, Denzel, XCIA person, blowing people all the way. You walk out the theater feeling really good, then your guys are the one blowing people away. You're like, yeah, okay. Yeah, my team won. But it's still violent satisfaction that we kind of feel. Anyway. And the same thing kind of with domestic. You know, they're putting a lot of focus on the football, NFL, with uh, domestic violence. I think they're going to develop a solution for that. You know, get applications for everything. Women are going to get robots. Yeah, they're going to call it like the domestic violence equalizer. So if the guy, like, you know, messes her, you know, with her, she's going to get her, her robot, you know, her robot dude. Equalize. <laughs> Robot equalizer. But the guys are gonna get they're gonna get on they're gonna catch on to that. And they're gonna end up getting their own robots to defend themselves. So you know what that's gonna evolve into. Even the kid. Kids now, hey, you're not hitting me anymore. I got my robot here. So it'll be robot family fight night. Everybody will just use their robots to battle each other. And let that be the peacemaking. Violent satisfaction. Ladies, they got a thing too in California, the legislation. They talk about date rape. And uh, I believe there's gonna be a date rape equalizer robot on the market soon. So a guy tries to, uh, you know, she guy do doesn't get consent, you know, she, she's just gonna get her robot and go, hey, but you can't rape me. You go, hey, robot, you rape him. <laughs> Bend over to the front, touch your toes, twerk for me, baby. Who's your daddy? 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 Violent satisfaction. You probably heard recently there was a, there was a dude that like jumped over the fence of the White House and made it inside the White House with a knife. Go figure. Violent satisfaction. See, sometimes you sit back and, they, and watch the news and you think, okay, if I was in charge, what would I do? How can I fix that? How would you fix that? Well, I think, one thing, we need to give Bo some help. Bo is the White House dog. That's a lot of ground to cover. You know, you got fools jumping over, right, and left. You got, this, you got the Secret Service smoking weed. They don't know what's going on. They need to go to rehab. So they need to hire, they need to have Bo have about 5,000 pit bulls. The person tries to do it again, you know there's somebody going to copycat and do it again. They're going to jump the White House fence while they're out there. And this time, they'll have 5,000 pit bulls and they will become food. And then fertilizer. And the stench of 5,000 dogs Older, you know, that's going to keep people away from the fence. So they're not going to be all up in the fence trying to get over to kind of breathe. I think we need to have the president just say, look, President Obama, stay in Hawaii. You know, we need to get a decoy Obama there in the White House, you know, until the Secret Service gets it right, until they finish their drug rehab and stuff, so you're safe. 
and then, um, you know, invite Congress over, you know, so they can do something to get involved, you know, and if they don't, the pit bulls will just have a, you know, a march on Congress. Anyway, thank you for listening. Good for it. Love you guys. You guys are great. Thank you for listening. I'm David Moore.